Good day everyone! Before we start, please stand up and let us pray. Please bow your heads and let us pray. Dear Jesus, please show me how to spend this day sharing your love in every way. Help me to be kind to everyone, to play and love and have lots of fun. Shining your light and giving your grace, sharing your joy with a smile on my face. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here. Ever this day, be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Good morning, class. Before you take your seats, Kindly pick up the pieces of paper and arrange your chairs properly. And I want you to occupy the vacant seats here in the front. Are you done already, class? Thank you. You may now take your seats. So, are you ready for a brand new day? That's great! It's so nice to have you here with me today. How are you today, class? Oh, I'm glad you are fine today. Okay, time for the checking of attendance. Is there anybody absent from the class? Very good! Perfect attendance! So before we start, did I give you an assignment yesterday? If I did not give you an assignment yesterday, let's move on to our discussion. This morning, we will have our discussion. But before that class, what will you do when your class is going on? That's right! What else? Exactly! Okay, let me see if you are sitting properly. What about if you want to answer? What will you do? How about if you have a group activities? Very well said! What if somebody is talking? Fantastic! Very good! So again, what are those classroom rules that we have? Can I expect that from you? Alright, that's good to know. Before we proceed to our next topic, let us have a short review about our previous lesson. Plus, can you still remember our lesson yesterday? So what was our topic yesterday? Yes, I will. That's right! How would we able to know the mood or feelings of the character in the story or in a sentence? Yes, Nico. Is this answer correct? Yes, that's right. All of you had a good recall of the past lesson. Now, are there any questions regarding our topic yesterday? Today class, we will have a new lesson but before we will indulge to our new lesson, let me present to you our objectives of the day. Who will read the first objective? Yes, Shanika! Thank you! And the second one? Yes, Lingwell! Thank you! These objectives set us our goal to understand our lesson well. I hope we can attain these objectives at the end of our lesson. Class, do you want to play a game? That's good! This time we will have a game. Fingers on the lips and I want you to listen carefully. Okay? I have here a memory take board game. So. What are you going to do is that behind these numbers 1 to 10 contains a different word with a different meaning. So what are you going to do is 
you need to open each of it and then find the pair of the word or look for another word that perfectly match at the right side and then you will take these two words and combine them together in order to form one word or a new word and you're just going to post it on the board do you get the mechanics of the game class that's good so for example we will combine food and ball in that we will going to make a new word which is football so who will try butter and fly will be butterfly sun and glasses will be sunglasses eye and lead will be eye lead jelly and fish will be jellyfish door and bell will be doorbell so based on the activity that we have what have you noticed with these words? Wow! Very good! They have two words with different meaning. How do we call two words with different meaning combined together to make a new word? Good job! It's compound word. For this morning, our discussion will be relation to compound words. Again, what comes into your mind? When you heard the word compound word, let me hear. That is great. Compound words are formed when two different words are put together to form a new word with a new meaning. What you did a while ago is an example of a compound word. Here are another examples. Basket and ball means basketball mail and a box mailbox tooth and a brush toothbrush star and a fish starfish did you understand what a compound word is that is great aside from the word that we have mentioned earlier can you think of other compound words Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very good. All your answers are correct. This time, we will play Clue Box. We have several words written on the board. Let us read them. Number one, blank egg. Two, blank noon. Three, blank father. Four, blank lace. Five, blank light. Six, blank mate. We also have several words in the clue box. We have to pick one word from the box and combine it with one of the words written on the board to form another word. Are the direction clear? That's great! Let us start! I will give you a couple of minutes to do the work. So now that everybody is done answering, let us check your work. Number one, toothache. That is right. Number two, afternoon. Great job! Number three, grandfather. Absolutely right! Number four, shoelace. Great! Number five, moonlight. And number six, classmate. Great job, everyone! Excellent! Do you really understand what a compound word is? Let us see if you really understand the lesson. Then, what is a compound word again? Hmm? Hmm? Precisely! Who can give me an example 
will be compound word. Hmm? Very good! You really understand the lesson, everyone. Great job! This time, I will group you into three groups. Each group should be given a piece of paper, set A and set B, containing with different word with different meaning. What will you do as just to combine this word in order to form a new word? And after you finish combining these two words, you're going to present it up front by just singing this song with action. So, just look at me while I'm doing the action. After that, you repeat after me. Then, all together, we sing. It goes like this. I'm the compound word. Listen to what I hear. Put two words together to make a compound word. Sun and shine make a sunshine. Rain and bow makes a rainbow. Sun and flower make a sunflower. Two words together make a pound pound word. In this song, you're going to replace her the compound word with what you form by combining the two different words. The first group who finished the activity will be proclaiming as a winner. Congratulations for winning team! Let us give them a winner club! Did you help each other to finish your work? That's good to know. So, when you help each other in certain tasks, you can finish it as much possible. That's why you have to practice helping each other because it makes the difficult tasks easy to answer. Any question regarding with our discussion? Okay, if none, get a one piece of paper, write your name, we will have a quiz. Choose a compound word from the word box below to complete each sentence. Bookcase, anyone, butterfly, football, baseball, or nowhere. Number one, I saw a in my bucket fly and the flower. Number two, I put all my school books on my new. Number three, to play, you need a bat and a ball. Number four, does nowhere in this place my backpack. Number five, I watch every Sunday with my father. And for your assignment, write six compound words and use these compound words in a sentence. Did you get a class? That's all for today. Goodbye class. See you tomorrow.